The XPRIZE Cup is a two-day air and space exposition which was the result of a partnership between the XPRIZE Foundation and the state of New Mexico. The open competitions for $2.5 million in monetary prizes were the highlight of the 2006 Wirefly XPRIZE Cup. Wirefly was named the official sponsor of the competition. The event was held in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and represented an effort by the XPRIZE Foundation to continue encouraging innovation in the private sector. It focused on rocketry and lunar landing technology, offered $2.5 million in prizes to teams competing in several distinct competitions related to the general dream. The exposition also featured high-powered rocket launches and exhibits intended to boost public interest in aerospace technology. The competitions were the Space Elevator Games, the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge, the Vertical Rocket Challenge, and there was an appearance by Rocketman Dan Schloon who demonstrated his rocket belt. from New Mexico, XPRIZE Cup 2006. Rocket Man's about ready to take flight. Oh, it's very exciting. Whoa, up he goes, up, up into the sky. Look at him go. Look at the smoke coming out of that engine. It's an amazing sight, everyone. I can't, I can't describe it. It's something, it's something I've never seen before. He's flying, he's, he's coming down now. He's landing, it's over. It's, yeah, it's done. Six, Russ Dale five, live from the XPRIZE four, Cup 2006 three, in Las Cruces, New two, Mexico. One, Rocket two. launching. Oh, oh, look at that baby go. That is a beautiful sight. What do you think, people? <laughs> I want to take a moment now to introduce the following three people. Governor Bill Richardson. Governor! Hey, yeah! Please it's the governor over here! Richardson. Look! We have Anusha Ansari. Anusha! Ansari! Look over here! Anusha Ansari! Down here! I'm jumping! Yes! Buzz! Buzz Aldrin, second man on the moon! Hey! Buzz! Buzz over here! Buzz! X Prize Cup 2006. Russ Dale here live at a little rocket engine table. They're they're getting ready to fire it. It's... Wow! Is that it? Is that it? Next up is an interview with Gonzo journalist Russ Dale. Yeah, give me a slate, Russ. Dale, XPC. How do you spell Dale? D A L E. Is that a capital D? Capital D. Yeah. Tell me, where did you first hear about this X Prize thing? I heard about it over a year ago, October. Where? On the Blessed Internet. It's a countdown to the X Prize. What was your uh, first reaction when you first saw the, uh, that they were going to have an X-Prize event here? And where are we? We're in Las Cruces, New Mexico, where they don't have grocery stores. And uh, I'm not a big fan of New Mexico, but this event brought me here to the beer tent. Do you have a greater respect for New Mexico now that they're a... Oh, uh, definitely. Now that I can sit here under the clear skies and drink to excess and indulge in other pleasures of the poison. I enjoy myself immensely. 
And uh, could you describe your reaction when you first heard about it? When I first heard about it, it was something along the lines of, Yeah! That's, how's that again? Yeah! <laughs> Excellent. And I would imagine the, could you describe your level of anticipation? Oh, I was very excited to come to see the latest in technology and my peers in the scientific realm, both engineering and rocket scientists gathering together for brotherhood and experimentation for the kids. For the kids. How do you feel about kids? As long as they're not British, I'm okay. Uh, there were no British kids here in New Mexico this year, but there were approximately 6,500 kids here yesterday. And I scared at least seven. Slide me your lighter. <laughs> so, do you feel that this event is geared more towards the kids or is it geared more towards adults? It's geared towards all a cornucopia of society, from the very elderly and indigent and wheelchair bound to the babies in the strollers. Uh huh. You... We got kids, we got Space Street for the kids with displays and free swag. We got uh, rockets launching up into the heavens for, for everyone. A delight for us all. How do you uh, feel about the exhibit? The exhibits are okay if you take the time to read them. I don't know how to read. As long as there's pictures, I enjoy them. And which one had the best pictures, I guess? The best pictures were the huge wall-mounted photos of lunar panoramas from the Apollo days. Mm -hmm. And who was your favorite exhibitor so far? So far, I think my favorite exhibitor would have to be NASA. They have mock-ups and free swag and everything for the next Orion project, Project Constellation. Free balls that look like the moon. <laughs> and uh, is there anything that you still want to see? Are you looking forward to seeing anything? I'm looking forward to seeing catastrophic failures. Nobody getting hurt, just spectacular explosions, flame, fire. Maybe some wildlife deaths. And uh, what was your favorite thing that you have seen so far? Rocket launchings up into the sky, so high. Up, 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 up it goes. So high they touch the sky. And the Lunar Lander Challenge is pretty fun. They're getting ready to do the third, third time's a charm. Let's hope they can do it. What is it? It's the Lunar Lander Challenge. It's where you take a craft, fly it up vertically about 50 meters, fly over 100 meters to a landing site, land, refuel the craft, take off again, fly back, load yourself back onto the truck, then a two and a half hour time frame for a big fat person model. We got astronauts walking by. Oh, that is an astronaut. You could tell by his back. And his messed up hair. And the messed up hair is a dead giveaway. <laughs> Could you have me my beer, please? Uh, hold on. Maybe I can. I got a lot of sun. Ah, <laughs> I burned myself. Got a lot of sun. Yeah, you look a little pinky. Would you recommend sunscreen to people coming out here today? I bring sunscreen. The weather is hot. We're not really that high up elevation wise compared to where the thin air where I come from. Morning's nice. Nice mornings, nice sun sunrises. You've seen the sunrise? I've seen the sunrise the past two days in a row. Well, what time do you wake up for an event like this? I woke up this morning at 420. Really? What time did you get here? Uh what time did I we pulled in around 615 this morning? More like 6 5. 605. What's there to do in the, the pre-dawn hours? I mean, is there anything going on that early? Uh, there's some really nice employees at the Starbucks where we loaded up on the caffeine products before we came out. Pumpkin Lord James supports Starbucks 150 No, I don't. No, Starbucks is bad. It's bad as Walmart and Oprah. <laughs> Excellent.
What else? In, what, tell me more about the, this morning activities. Do you see anything cool? Do they have rocket launches? What? Oh, this morning here? I thought you meant at the hotel. Yeah, well, here. What, what is there to do here? You got here at 6 o'clock in oh, the morning. Uh, to wander, stuff your bag full of free swag. Check in as media. Uh, check in as a member of the media. Uh, get the schedule, find out what's happening. Uh, loading up your belly with free breakfast sponsored by Northrop Grumman. Public relations officers. Public relations officers for New, York, New Mexico. Speaking with them, patting them on the back. Uh, patting them on the back? In the side. In the side. In their ear. How oh, nice. That's All the right. way we do. That's the way I roll. Where are we now? We're in the beer tent, relaxing, uh, doing gonzo journalism here. If you reach a point where you're, you're still not too drunk, if you walk a straight line, that's when the best reporting gets done. <laughs> Really? Do you feel like you uh, need to report while you're intoxicated? Uh, no, because I just keep it all up here, in my brain. And uh -huh. I'll, put, I'll put the words down, put the words down when I get home. Isn't that, isn't that hard to... Oh! Looks like we'll have to end this interview early. No! More events. Stand up and salute the music, my friend. Good afternoon. Well